G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now there is more to Copilot than the things that we generally see. So things like content creation uh, or meeting summaries or catching up on and synthesizing things across M365. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. How I used AI today in the way that I work. And we're going to specifically use Copilot and we're going to use it to hopefully write some code to generate uh, some list column formatting. And it kind of comes from a question I had from uh, a newsletter subscriber about um, styling managed metadata columns. All right, so let's jump in and we'll have a bit of a, a bit of a play. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm in Copilot and I've, I've switched over from work to web. Now I'm going to paste in my first prompt here and uh, we'll see what we come back with. So you're an amazing SharePoint developer with experience in customizing list views and columns with JSON because JSON is the uh, the code that we need to write to format uh, list columns and values. So I don't wanna start from scratch and write this code myself. It'd be great to use this site as a reference when writing the JSON. And this is just a, a GitHub repository of some examples of some list formatting. Um, so that's the first part, all right? Now, the next part of the prompt is I'm going to just hit enter. Can you write some JSON code to format a column that contains text values? I wanna have the ability to have different colors for different string values. All right, that's our prompt. Let's see what comes back. Nice and quick, here is our JSON code. So we can see what I can do here is even if you don't know what this code means, it doesn't really matter at this point, right? So I can copy this. Now I'm just gonna flick over to my library and I've got a library here with document sets and I've got this category column. Now this is the one we're going to target. Now I'm going to go to column settings and I'm gonna to go to format this column and you can see uh, it's our JSON format, okay? So I can just paste in what Copilot has generated for me. I'm going to hit the preview button. We'll slide this across and let's have a look. So it's hit preview. So we can kind of make this out, it, it makes sense. If the current field is equal to high, the color is red, all right? So let's go to granite and we'll hit preview. All right, so that's a good start. That changes the color but I kind of want some uh, a pill type of formatting, all right? Not just the, the, the text color. So I'm going to scroll back to here and we're gonna uh, continue the conversation. So we're going to now have a chat. Okay, this is good, good start, but can we change things up and style it like the out of the box choice pills, all right? So you know the, the formatting that we can use in our choice columns. So here we go, it's rewritten the code for me. I'm just gonna, again, I'm just gonna copy this all right, so it gives us a little bit of a, an explanation as well underneath, all right? So let's just use our copy and that's copied. We'll jump back over to our, li our library here. We'll hit preview. Now you can see it's changed it a little bit. It, it's, it's put a background over the entire cell, which is not really what I want. So I'm going to scroll back here um, and let's paste in this, all right? So I've got this written. Maybe not the entire cell, but just the pill around the text, please. All right, so let's see what we get with this. All right, so let's have a look. And we've got this code that comes back. We're gonna copy this code here. We're gonna jump across. We're gonna paste that into here and we'll hit preview and see what happens. And nothing's happened. So I'm just gonna pop back and let's just copy this a different way. And we'll jump across here and we'll paste that in and we'll hit preview. And that again, let's have a look at high, we'll go to granite and we'll hit preview. And again, it hasn't really changed our column here. Um, all right, uh, let's go for a different prompt. So uh, the pill, can we, can we please uh, have the pill styling around the the text only and not the entire cell, please. And we'll see what happens here, all right? Let's have a look and 
I don't think that's going to work either. So we're going to copy this. We're going to jump across. We're going to hit the paste and we'll hit preview. And again, we're not getting what we want. All right. Uh, that did not work. You may need to take a different approach to take a different approach i want the pill around the text value only not the whole cell and let's see what we come back with let's have a look so we'll copy this we'll jump across we'll copy and paste and we'll hit preview that's looking a lot better all right, so let's, uh, that is great. Um, can we add a little padding around the text, please? And hopefully it's gonna make these pills a little bit, a little bit fatter for us, a little bit bigger. So we'll copy, we'll copy this code. I'm just gonna copy it this way. So we'll go copy, we'll flick back over and we'll paste that in there and we'll hit preview. That's looking a lot better. Now, you can see here that, again, we can say if the current field equals, let's say, granite, and we'll hit preview. And we've got a nice uh, background color now. So if I let, what about we go uh, digital services initiative, and we'll hit preview. And again, we've now got our pill, all right? So if I hit come back here, uh, let's go, can we add a little uh, more padding around the text, please. Again, we're just having a conversation here, explaining what we want Copilot to do for us. And it's just said here, the padding style is now changed and set from four to eight, and it's gonna provide some more spacing around the text. So let's grab this code and we'll jump back over in here. We'll copy our, uh, we'll hit preview. Again, we've got a little bit more uh, uh, padding here. Now you can see if we read, if we were having a look at this, we could probably do this ourselves, right? So we could say padding. Uh, so that, that's uh, our padding and we've got eight. Let's increase this to 10 and see what happens. All right, so that's, that's increasing the left and right. So let's increase the uh, top and bottom. So we'll go up to six. And you can see that that has now changed, all right? Now the border radius, again, we're just looking at the, we can kind of make that out. So the border radius is two. Let's make this a hundred, all right? So now we can see that it has just changed that to be a hundred. Now, again, we just need to jump in here and we go to granite and let's go for uh, digital services initiate and we'll hit preview and there we've got our colors all right so not only um, is copilot good at doing all the general things that you see you know your meeting summaries all of your uh, recaps and everything like that we can actually have a conversation and it be it does become your uh, your partner or your uh, your co-worker where you can have a conversation explain things that you want copilot to achieve and then with a little bit of backwards and forwards of, of conversations, we can see that we can get to the result. Now that's even that there, even though we've gone backwards and forwards a few times, that's probably uh, a lot quicker than having to code and write and making sure that we've got quotation marks and brackets, curly brackets and square brackets and everything like that. We've just created um, a, a list uh, list format, a list column format, formatting in the space of a, a couple of minutes just by having our conversations, all right? So I just wanted to share that with you, how I used AI today, uh, and that is it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.